indoor potty training with potty pads is what we're gonna talk about today. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to explain why using potty pads will not make it impossible for your dog to eventually go potty outside. This potty training process has been so damn easy that I have used it on over 20 rescue puppies that I have brought into my home, fostered, and helped find their forever home. So let's start with step one. Find a dedicated spot to put your potty pads. Popular spots are by the back door, a bathroom, a guest room, or a laundry room. Pro tips on picking your potty pad spot. Whoa, that was, that was an alliteration if I ever heard one, is to make sure it's a spot that the pads can stay in so they're not in the way, but it also needs to be a spot where the puppy can easily access it at all times. And ideally, you put it in a spot where you have tile, so if there is a mess in and around it, you don't have to worry as much and you're not doing like on laminate flooring. Next, start with four to five potty pads, give or take, depending on the size of your dog. Then I want you to lay them out. Finn, Finn, are you trying to help? Oh gosh. Finn is showing you what not to do. Do not let your puppy chew on this. Let's do a quick training intermission. If your puppy tries to chew on the puppy pads, do not scream or scold and do not make it exciting because if you yell at them, they're gonna think it's a game. So what I do is I hold it and I stay completely still. Yes, good jo job. And I had a little bit of accent there. And when he releases, I give him a marker command, which for me is Y-E-S, and you can re reward with a treat so he learns that, okay, when I let go of the potty pad, I get rewarded. Your pro tip with this is you can use a playpen or a crate to make the area more designated and more specific for your puppy. I like this playpen because it comes with a little built-in door, makes it easy for puppies to go in and out. When you're laying down your potty pads, make sure you overlap them just a little bit and you have at least a few inches outside of the playpen or crate. To start, you'll wanna introduce your puppy to the potty pads. So you can walk over to the potty pads with them and let them smell it and reward every time they smell it and show interest. But as you saw earlier, do not reward if they start playing with them. Instead, redirect and get them focused on something else and try. Again, only reward when they show interest in it, smell it, but not when they try to bite Next it. step is walk them to the potty pads every single hour. Yes, once an hour, I want you to walk them over to the potty pads. Good job, Finnegan. In addition to that, you're going to walk them to the potty pad area after they eat, sleep or play every single time. So that means that you're gonna be making a visit to this little dedicated potty indoor area several times a day. And for those of you who are subscribed, you know that I like to get the most bang out of my buck on training. So what I recommend to do as a pro tip is you can use a leash with a harness on your puppy and physically walk them over as if you're leash walking to the potty area every single hour. And that means that you're gonna get to work on leash skills. And yes, you can start that now. If you're potty training, you can start working on obedience training right now. Hi, dude. And because you're gonna be making so many trips to this area, your puppy is eventually and undoubtedly going to potty in the potty area. And you know what you do when that happens? You get so super excited. As, this is the key guys, as they are going potty, not after, not before, in the middle of it, I want you to give a marker word. That could be a clicker if you're clicker training, or for me, it's Y-E-S, which is what I've trained my dog, even at a young age, to recognize as a positive reinforcement. And then you give him a treat with a command. So for Finn, let's say he's going potty on here. Yes, go potty, good job! And you can give a treat. So you see that I started the reward and the reinforcement as he was completing the action. I know he was just sitting here, but that was just for demonstration. And now a brief message from our sponsor, Finn, just joking. Finn's not really your sponsor, but he does want to remind you to click that subscribe button and to let you know that we are doing our first giveaway ever of an awesome product for your dog. All of the details are linked in the description down below. You do this enough times, eventually they will learn that going potty on the potty pad is a fun, exciting thing. And guys, all dogs are eager to please and dogs want to learn. So give them the chance to learn. Now, what happens if your dog goes potty off the potty pad? Well, if you ask Finn, because he had experience with this when he was a puppy, no big deal. Don't scream, don't yell, don't scold, don't rub your puppy's nose in it. What I do with all the rescue puppies that I have fostered is I simply pick them up and I put them on the potty pad. Most times they still need to go a little bit, so they'll continue going potty on here. A pro tip on this is watch your puppy for signals. A potty signal is typically sniffing the ground or pacing back and forth. If you see that, gently pick them up or 
roll them over with a leash and put them on the potty area and wait. The reason I like this playpen is I can close them in. Now, once they go potty on here, you can replace the pad and put a new one on. What I've seen some people do, and it's worked for me some of the time and not other times, is I actually leave their pee on here for a little bit so the dog smells it in the beginning at least so they get used to oh, this is where I need to go potty. If you want to use a crate and a playpen, what you can do is wrap the playpen around the crate. Eventually over time, you're gonna notice that your puppy goes potty in the same area, most do. So what you can do is start over time slowly, removing the other pads surrounding the one area that they usually go potty in, that way, eventually, they'll start going in just one little section. And with that, you're slowly conditioning your puppy to go potty in one small area so you can reduce the size of your puppy potty area or you can start working on getting them to go potty outdoors. And that is an awesome segue to my next topic, which is a question you guys ask me all the time, and it is, Rachel, if I potty train my puppy indoors using potty pads won't that make it impossible for them to learn to go potty outside and i'm going to answer that question but first i want to talk about using potty pads indoors and indoor potty training one thing i have learned after working with thousands of you i'm sorry i sat on your paw is undoubtedly there are people out there that are not able to let their dog go outdoors to go potty every single time the dog needs to go out. There are times where people have extreme weather, they may be stuck in an apartment, or whatever the reason is, they may not be able to take their dog out as often as the dog needs to go, so their only option is to potty train indoors. That said, if it is an option for you to potty train your dog outdoors instead of using potty pads and instead of getting them to go potty indoors, I do recommend it. I do find that to be the most effective and easiest way to potty train a dog. In fact, I have a one-step potty training process linked right here that has literally helped thousands and thousands of you guys. Now, why is it that I believe you can still use potty pads indoors that you can eventually get your dog to go potty outside? Well, reason number one is I've done it several times. I have fostered dozens and dozens of rescue puppies that came with zero training, and I used this process time and time again. So for me, it's tried and true. And the second reason is I don't think we give dogs enough credit, me included. Dogs are smart. and while it may slow your process down a little bit, you may not have an option. You may be adopting your puppy in the middle of a dead winter storm and you can't go outside. I get it and I don't judge you for that. In the way you graduate your puppy from using a potty pad to go outdoors, one easy step is once you limit your potty pads down to one and they're consistently going potty in that one square, over time, several days, move that potty pad towards the back door. Once you get to the back door, leave it there for a day and have them go potty on the potty pad on that back door. Then you can start walking them outside going back to step one of this video, meaning you take them outside, you can do it on leash if you want, every hour. I know that sounds insane. Trust me, the time investment up front is so worth it down the road. Consistency matters. And then, because you've been practicing putting a command to it, if you're going outside every single hour and you ask your dog to go potty, they are going to know, okay, go potty means I need to relieve myself. All right, they may not get it on the first try or the second try, maybe not even the fifth try, but over time, if you consistently go outside, they're going to have to go potty and then they're gonna go potty outside and you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna reward the heck out of them. You can use treats, play, or praise. And you do this enough times, your dog's gonna to learn to go potty out side it's all about consistency and it's all about realizing that your dogs can achieve this it's you and me us as the humans that have struggles your other major pro tip is me <laughs> i know this sounds silly but what i mean is let me help you i make these videos to help encourage you guys i in fact i have videos on crate training linked up here which again have helped thousands of people. I also have indoor brain games for puppies linked up here as well. But if you go down in the comment section here, I can help answer your questions. You can also connect with me on Instagram and Facebook. And that has been an awesome way for me to connect with you guys directly and help you with your one-off specific questions. But what I do encourage you to do is go check the video playlist uh, I have linked down below. I have entire playlist series on everything you need to know for your puppy from the best food to the best toy boys. And if you want to see my thoughts on vaccines and puppy vaccines, click the video linked here and don't forget to click subscribe. I hope you have a beautiful day. Goodbye.